Hi, I'm Omni Sunday. I wanted to make a giant horror bird, and I thought it would be funny if I based it off a of flamingo. On an Earth-like planet called Origin, where many animals look suspiciously similar to animals on Earth, there was once a species of bird that was just like a flamingo called a bubblegum bird. However, millions of years ago, the area that it lived in had a sudden abundance of food. Nowadays, there are two extant species of bubblegum bird. Both species are huge, reaching a height of two and a half meters. Though neither can fly, they both cut their wings for display purposes. Let's start with the lesser bubblegum bird, or lesser BB for short. Despite the name, the lesser BB tends to be heavier on average, thanks to its stocky build. It opted for flightlessness and gigantism thanks to an abundance of food in the area, and still eats in a similar way as its flamingo-like ancestors. It mostly does filter feeding, but is known to eat fish on occasion. Though it doesn't eat large prey, it is hugely aggressive and has resisted attempts by locals to domesticate it. Here's the final art. It has sparse pigmentation because it avoids eating too much bubblegum algae, else it might get a stomach ache and be out of commission for longer than it can stop eating food for. Locals have tried to domesticate it many times, as it is a common phrase in the area to say, how cool would it be to ride a giant bird? Dude, that would be awesome. Unfortunately for the locals, Lesser BB is too aggressive to accept any amount of food for the price of contact with any other life form. Next is the Greater Bubblegum Bird. Again, I'll abbreviate it as Greater BB for short. The Greater BB opted for flightlessness and gigantism for similar reasons as its lesser cousin, but turned to carnivory due to an abundance of animals taking advantage of the abundance of food in the area. Its beak convergently evolved to look similar to forest rockets, which are the carnivorous terror birds you might have heard about from prehistoric South America. I'll probably do a video about those at some point, but anyway, this adaptation helps it hunt large prey on land. Although this bird is capable and willing to hunt sapient species, including humans, it's technically not as aggressive as the lesser BB when it's not hungry. Here's the final art. Its primary source of prey is the bubblegum deer, which gorges itself on bubblegum algae and bubblegum mushrooms. You might be noticing a pattern here, and I'm just going to note that these organisms aren't made of bubblegum, they just have a similar color and slash or flavor due to the nutrients in the area. Anyway, this deer is bright pink, and when the greater BB eats it, the greater BB tends to absorb these pigments into its own body. That's why it's such a deep pink. The greater BB is also smarter than its lesser cousin, so while it could technically be more susceptible to domestication, locals are afraid to do so thanks to its habit of carnivory. It is known to be quite peaceful when it isn't hungry, but that could be an adaptation to make its prey less afraid of it. This would obviously lead to easier hunting. But yeah, that's about it. I hope this was entertaining and or interesting. I know it's not completely serious, but I hope you can suspend your disbelief enough to believe it's possible on a different planet. I enjoy doing these, so you might see more of them, but let me know if you like them so I know how many more to make. Thanks for watching!